45 Apple Charlie Papa, and today, special day today, we're going on a field trip. Yes, field well, trip, field well, trip. Can I go too? Yes. No. No, Mr. Smiles. Fun sucker. Yes, that I am. Anyway, we're going on a field trip today. Um, I got invited to a super secret Glock facility. I'm um, going to be able to talk with one of their engineers. Um, going to be kind of interesting. Uh, Glock set up some ground rules. Uh, one of the rules is, is that the engineer we talked to, I cannot reveal his name, so we will call him Mr. S. Um, two, uh, I cannot show his face, so we're going to have a silhouette of him. Um, however, three, I can't have just a silhouette of him. He's got to wear a disguise behind the silhouette, so he's got to really obscure uh, who he is. Uh, and, and the four, he's got to try to hide his Austrian accent. Um, he's going to try his best. But let's go ahead and get in the car. Get over to the Glock facility and check this out. Okay, here we are. We're at Glock's headquarters here, uh, very secret headquarters. I've got one of their uh, technicians here, one of their, their engineers, Mr. S, as I told you earlier. Uh, Mr. S, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about you? I I'm doing really very, very well. We're here to talk about kind of the Glock and, you know, uh, kind of its inception and stuff. But, uh, you know, I, I hear a lot of people complain about the Glocks, and I, I just want to get your feedback. Well, first off, there is no complaints to be made about Glock because it is perfection. <laughs> so, know, Mr. S, you know, um, you know, the Glock has, has been known for, for reliability, but it's also known as kind of a blocky gun. Do um, you have anything to say about the design of the Glock? You know, could it be a little bit prettier, like a, like a Smith & Wesson or something like that? No, 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 no. Smith & Wesson is not perfection. Glock is perfection. Look at it. You look at it in movies. You know what it is. It's a Glock. It's perfection. The shape is what makes Glock perfection. The the shape. I mean, you're using basically rudimentary squares and rectangles. That's precisely the point. It is simple. It is perfection. It is perfection. We give you a thirty dollar gun for seven hundred dollars. It's perfection. You you mean these only cost you thirty dollars? I know nothing. Perfection. Huh? I don't know. Uh, there's there's some other guns out there I would consider maybe perfect. Like you, you know, are not the, the the Smith and Wesson Sigma maybe. We do not speak of the Sigma. It what? is not perfection. Why did they steal your design? They stole everything. Um, well, you know, can can you tell me why you know people? Uh, tend to you know, play with the trigger on them, they tend to smooth them up or lighten them or put aftermarket triggers in them. Well, what, what do you want from us? You want trigger, we give you trigger. That's perfection. Well, what about the, the handle? I mean, over the years, people really, really complained about the, the handle. What else it's do good. you want from us? We give you perfection, that's what you get perfection. You want handle, we give you handle. It's perfection. <laughs> Um, you know, the, these newer ones, you know, I hear all these complaints about the finger grips. Uh, does Glock have any uh, idea they're going to do anything about, about those grips? What, 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 what must we do with them? They're perfection. We give you, we give you a rudimentary shape. It's perfection. It's perfect. It's perfection. Why must you argue? Fanboy said it right. We are perfection. The finger grips are only taken away because people don't like perfection. Also, perfection. The, the internet rumors are true. There is a Gen 5 coming out without the finger grips. Uh, I know nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, you've got a lot of a lot of haters out there, and they tend to uh, call the uh, the people who like their Glocks fanboys. What would you consider as a Glock fanboy? Well, there are two types of fans. There is the Glock fanboys and the purists. The purists are the true Glock fanboys, in my opinion. I have no complaints towards them. But then we have the so-called fanboys who like to add so much exterior. Disgustingness to our perfection. A Glock is perfection! Uh, for perspectives, do you have a Glock? Yes, I, I have a Glock, yeah, okay. as you can see. Okay, what is that little piece on the bottom? Um, that's the, the Pierce Plus One uh, extension for the magazine. It helps, helps it hold seven rounds instead of six. Okay, then did that come with the Glock? No, it did not come with the Glock. Okay, you're a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. If you were a, if you were not if you were not a fanboy, you would have took that Glock piece off. Damn it! <laughs> I'm not a fanboy. It came with the gun. I didn't put it on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all had that before. 
Well, let's get to the reason that um, I'm here. Um, one of my last videos, I showed my my Glock, my original uh, conceptual Glock, and I got a, a call from from Glock headquarters, and they they wanted me to bring it in to uh, to actually look at it. Um, they're telling me it's a, a rare, rare pro prototype. You know, I bought it for twenty five cents at a garage sale. I thought it was humorous, but let me uh, let me pull it out and let you take a look at it and, and see what you think. What is <gasps> You know, they, I, I found this, um, you know, they, they tell me this is the prototype number one. Uh, what do you happen to think of it? It's the original concept model. This is true perfection. Oh, the edges are so rough. It's perfection. Oh, modern Americans destroying a perfected design. Now, can, can you tell me how, how that, that design came about? Is, is, that, is this what he based his whole gun line off of? Yeah, there's a little boy what? who found this and created it, and his father worked in a gunmetal plastic factory. And then he brought it in, and he based his whole design of the entire Glock series on this very instrument right here. This here is the epitome of perfection. Oh, they just don't make them like they used to. This is perfection. Well, well, let's see, you know, let's put them together and see, you know, how close you got. Obviously, perfection. I, I, I see a family resemblance. Very much so. See? See perfection. I, I would agree. Perfection. This is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa Channel, and we're here at the Glock facility. Um, they got to shoot my gun. Now, I have a question for you. You guys went out and shot this, and, you know, I'm having some issues with the jamming, but you didn't have any issues with, with the jamming. Um, How did you guys find out what, with, with why this was jamming on me every once in a while? We tested your gun. It worked flawlessly. It's perfection. We had no problems with it whatsoever. Well, well how do I keep having problems with it? Because you old. You shoot like old man. You're not perfection. So I shoot like an old man. I guess that was must, be, must be my problem with my Glock. Yes. But this is 45 out Charlie Pablo. And Mr. S, thank you for having us today. I'm, I'm glad you got to see the, the original prototype. And uh, we're out. Wait a minute, what, 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 what's that? What's... Smiles, are you following me? According. Here we are, we're in Glocks, uh, deep, deep, dark, Okay. <laughs> that's, that's very good. You go, ahead, go ahead, man. It's no right. problem. Yeah, we'll um, we are taking yeah. those off. Okay. So, you know, the finger grooves. There's been a lot of complaints about the finger grooves. Um, is, is that perfection? That is not perfection. That is abstract perfection. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I wish I had a list. I wish I had a little list. Like, you just see a piece of paper. Perfection. Answer one, perfection. Answer two, perfection. Answer three, we don't talk about that. <laughs> you worried about me laughing? <laughs> God damn it. He just had one little <laughs> chuckle like you lost. So, what, so Mr. S, what would you consider are the, the Glock fanboys? The Glock fanboys do not understand perfection. They like to add all these incredibly obnoxious things to a perfected design. You are weighing down the design of perfection. Well, you know, I'm not a fanboy. Really? What is that little thing accessory on the bottom? Uh, well, that's the Pierce Plus One extension to give me an extra round. Oh, so is that the original from the Glock when you bought it? Well, you know, I bought it used, so the guy who I bought it from put it on here. Why didn't you take it off? I didn't, didn't think I needed to. You're a fanboy. I am not a fanboy! Damn it! <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> fanboy. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> My goodness, that's terrible. Just... Oh, perfection. Shut up, damn it! <laughs> you need to do it faster. <laughs> It's 
Damn it, man, don't look at me. Um, Hello everyone, I'm Mr. S. I'm here to talk about perfection. Oh, it's spent already. I had too much fun. <laughs> Just take it. Just take it. It's gonna, I'm going to hell. Uh, but you got <laughs> lots, of, lots of people out there that call themselves fanboys, or, or the haters call them fanboys anyway. What would you consider is a Glock fanboy? Well, a Glock fanboy knows the, the Glock that they have is the one that needs to have shit. Hold on, hold on. It's gotta have shit, all right? It has shit, it has shit, yes, it has shit. <laughs> you just squeeze it out the tube! Thank God no one's gonna see this for a little while. <laughs> Does anyone know my face? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Glock right. fanboys are the ones that actually put the shit on. Yes. Yeah, Glock fanboys are the ones, the purest are the ones who keep it. Early. Okay, so let's specify, I wanna specify that one. The Glock fanboys are the ones that don't know the, the true perfection of a Glock. They add so much crap to it. You add a whole bunch of body mods to Miata, it makes it Miata. It's still Miata, but it's still core perfection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Where the hell's my Glock? There you are. Have you been cheating on me again? Damn it, you're such a diva.